Hey guys, my name's Josh from Beyond the Feet. Today we're going to be comparing two Nike neutral shoes. We got the Windflow 6 against the Pegasus 36. Let's jump into it. Alright, starting off, overall both of these shoes are a great running shoe. If you're looking to start running, kind of do your one or two kilometers, New Year's resolution, that kind of thing. Or even if you're going to hit the gym in these shoes, they're going to work quite well. If we're wanting to run even 5, 10k, all the way up to kind of your half marathons, these guys should work well also. If you've loved Nike fit over the years, these guys are no exception. That nice snug fit wrapping around that forefoot with that heel counter, that locks you in quite nicely. Both shoes have that little bit more of a flare on your heel counter, bit of aesthetics, aerodynamic, that kind of thing. Um, overall, both great looking shoes as well. A lot of people still wear these casually with your active wear at the gym. So looking at our soles on both shoes, both are very, very similar with your wind flow in comparison to the Pegasus. They both use that piston shapes at your forefoot area. That makes for that nice little responsiveness even through the outer soles themselves. With those kind of higher abrasive, they're higher abrasive. Has nothing to do with the fucking cookerbars. <laughs> Both shoes are very, very durable throughout. Full ground contact on both shoes as well, so you are very stable across the ground, and just, yeah. Overall, they feel the same underneath the foot. Right, so the Nike Pegasus 36 has been around for ages. 36 series of the shoe. For a long time, it was your top Nike running shoe. This shoe incorporates your EVA cushioning running from all the way from your heel to your forefoot, makes for that nice soft cushioning. You're probably quite familiar with the Nike Pegasus Turbo, which does have a lot more cushioning underneath, but if you're chasing a shoe for those five, 10 Ks, this guy's gonna work great for you. Really soft all the way through, one of Nike's lighter weight, kind of faster shoes without paying a ridiculous amount of coin. If we're comparing this midsole to your wind flows, biggest difference is that the wind flow uses two air units. In this shoe, it's at your heel and also your forefoot, so you got your two air pockets in there. It feels a little bit different under the foot. Kind of feels like you got those little sponges at your heel, forefoot. How long those will last, it's, yeah, it's hard to say. I definitely say your EVA cushioning would be a little bit more durable overall in your Pegasus rather than your wind flows. These guys still do use a good amount of cushioning running throughout the shoe, so it does still make it nice, soft, and responsive. But overall, if you're talking kind of feeling of the cushion underneath the foot, the Pegasus does feel a bit softer. Again, if we're looking at the heel on both of these shoes, both have kind of gone for that bevel as well as that flare around the heel. That's supposed to limit heel striking in the shoe. So instead of your heel strike and then you slap down, it's supposed to roll you onto your forefoot a little bit better. A lot of people, if you're a little bit heavy, you're still gonna chew out of the heel in these, both really. Yeah, you're gonna pretty much smash them. If you're someone who's a little bit lighter, running around that 60, 70, even up to kind of 75 kilos, you should be sweet in these guys. All right, so we've covered the outer soles and the mid soles in these, what? The minor verse later in the background. <laughs> Straight up. Biggest difference between these shoes does come from the upper. So when your Pegasus 36, they do have fly wires wrapping around the top of the foot. So that gives that nice secure lockdown across the midfoot area. With the mesh, it is kind of a little bit softer on the upper. So they got that engineered mesh wrapping around the foot. Locks down the foot quite nicely, but around the toes you can kind of wiggle them a bit. So for some people it will feel a little bit sloppy, especially towards the later life of the shoe. If we're looking at the wind flows, bit more of that 3D engineered mesh wrapping around the top of the foot. It does have a bit more of those 3D print upper. So a bit more kind of going on with this shoe. Not as breathable at your forefoot or around your heel. It will lock you down a little bit better. Overall, I do think the wind flow fits a little bit better. Feels like it locks you in. It's a bit more secure and just comfortable when you put it on the foot. Think of this guy kind of as your more padded upper, where your Pegasus is a lot more slim therefore a little bit faster and lighter. If you look at the tongues in both shoes, the Pegasus is kind of paper thin. So if you're looking for that nice cushion feel on the top of the foot, you're not gonna find it with this one. Just feels like you're putting on a second sock. If you wanna feel a bit more cushioning, a bit more shoe overall, this has a much more padded heel counter, as well as your tongue. Actually feels like a nice padded tongue, locking down the foot quite nicely. The lacing on both shoes are very similar. The wind flow does have a slightly thicker lacing. So in conclusion, what's the difference between these two shoes? Not a whole lot. This feels a little bit lighter, a bit more like a running shoe. If you want a bit more shoe cushion feel on the foot, 
go the wind flows. Price difference, you're looking at 150, or you're looking at 180 with the Pegasus. That's about it. Hopefully you can hear me in this video with all your animals around. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Cut. Hit the subscribe button. We're out. So many sheep. There's a bit of wildlife going on. <laughs> so we are in Kez's backyard. This isn't a zoo. And I really want to pan to it. Yeah, just go, go pan. I'm loosen it up. <laughs> I actually shot myself. <laughs>